Alice. The Alice layout is basically just what a lot of people refer to as a split ergo layout. An example that you can tell is literally just one of these right here, where you have these staggered alphas that splits in the middle and then continues on. Why is it called Alice? What the fuck is an Alice? Back in 2018, this famous guy called TGR. He, he's a design studio, like, it's just a one-man job. He goes by the online name of Yuxi. He came up with just an interest check out of nowhere and it's like, poof, hey, we have an Alice layout keyboard. It's, it's called the TGR Alice. It features a splits logo layout and everyone was just suddenly like, oh man, that's hot shit. Yo, we gotta buy it. We gotta get in on this. Like the geek hack, like forum thread. Within the first like three days, there were like four pages full already. Each page is like 20, 30 over messages. And to imagine like, this is a forum, which is 2005 era forums not like your Reddit or your Discord or whatever. The post just blew up because of this guy's reputation to make like nice looking things and his, just his reputation in general. Why is it called Alice? I don't really know, but according to rumors, he does name his keyboards after certain ex-girlfriends of his. Possibly, I don't know. Please don't sue me over this. Ignoring the, the massive opening history background bullshit, why Alice? In simple sense, a regular keyboard, right? The keyboard isn't as wide as your shoulder, so you're not going to be typing like this. The ideal ergonomics or supposed ergonomics of it is when you type, your, your elbow is like 90 degrees, you know, 90 degrees on your desk when it's like this. And then your wrists have to be straight in line with like your forearm. So because the keyboard is obviously that much smaller, you have to angle your hands in. But because all the keys are straight, you end up typing like this, where your you wrist is your pronating. Wrist. Yeah, so your wrist is pronating against your forearm and it can hurt people. I mean, it's been known that some people get RSI because of this, but there is no alternative proof that having an Alice keyboard actually solves it either. So Alice keyboard just basically changes this to this. Literally just has it in line. So you just type better, supposedly. You also lose or more like all of your WPM. Yeah. It's really hard to get used to, but I mean, most people just muscle memory their way through it. Those are basically just the perceived benefits. Other people like it because a proper Alice layout is actually symmetrical. So it just looks really nicely like sculpted. It's a taste thing, it's a preference thing. This is um, my personal board. It's an example of a proper Alice layout. You can distinguish it by a few factors. La. One is this escape cluster here. It's a three key cluster. You basically just have whatever keys you want. I put escape, I use this as mute, and I think this is, I don't know what this is. You have your control here, and then on your left side cluster, you have a short space bar, as well as a function key. And then on the right side, you have a longer space bar and an alt key, that's it. Here, you have, it looks like a zero, zero and a B, but it's basically just two Bs. That the proper Alice layout. You need two Bs. Yeah, you need two Bs because- You need two Bs. Please stop putting only one B on the analysis. Yes. And then the other simple layout choices is that from everything here, it's sort of straight and in line. And then from your three WSX and zero OL and this, it starts to angle in. So there's this little bump price and then it just goes and then goes back down in and then you have this little weird gap in the middle. So that is a proper Alice layout. Anyway, this is the... This is like the shittier, like, half compromise. No, but this is actually, this is a true, what we call the Arisu layout. I don't know if this is a one-to-one. -one. No, actually, yeah, it might be a fake Arisu because I don't know about if this should be 1.5 or not. But basically, you can see it has a very similar sculpting and facade all the way up to here, where you notice that there is a missing B, second B. And then instead of having your, you know, your control again, it splits off into arrow keys and then your three your three nav cluster keys here are shifted to the right side instead. The main difference is that this part here shifted over and because to add the arrow keys as well, your entire bend is sort of like right aligned. This part is way longer than it is on this side. Some people like it because you know, oh yeah, I have my arrow keys. I just put it on the function layer anyway. So I don't really see the difference as much. Okay, the entire point of the Arisu was fake. was like, oh, I like the Alice, but I want arrow keys. And yeah. then he made it like without a second B. 
and everyone decided, like, oh, I want an Android Arrow Keys too. But no one was smart enough to make a PCB, so everyone and their mother, for any Arisu clone afterwards, would not have a second B. I believe the first people who actually did this, like an improved version of it, I believe it was KBD fans with the Maja Pahit, which is a true like Alice cluster with two Bs and then an arrow key cluster on the side. It basically turns this into a, you know, actually usable to be Alice layout because people use both their fingers for bees, okay? It's smack in the center. That's why we have this second layout here to showcase now. So we have multiple interpretations of it. So this is the Aqua ACR Pro, which we do not sell. This is the SP Star Lucifer, which we do sell. But you can see slight changes in interpretation of the Arisu or the Alice inspired layout is that, you know, it's missing an F key here, FN key, the shifted here. This is pretty much the same, but this is slightly shorter than this. And then you have an F cluster here versus none here. And then they put it here instead. And then you have a knob. Yes, words knob. coming out of my mouth. Knob. Yeah. And then if you want to go even more extreme, right, there are those, I won't really talk much about them, but there are these cursed things that I really cannot figure out. Yeah, let's let's talk about this other day. Let's just not. Yeah. Alice is the Alice. 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 Okay, we're done with that. We're done with this. We're done with this. Now, shitting time about why Alice is the better layer. When the teacher of Alice first came out, it was pretty nice. Simple, gets the layout done and sounds good. No foam, right? With no foam. But there have there are complaints about it later on being a, the way the top mount was made. It generally just being overly stiff because not necessarily because it was top mounted, just how the mount points were put. They have the points within somewhere here and here. That points are here, here, and I think somewhere here as well. So there was an issue where this part would be ridiculously stiff for no reason. But you know the reason because there's, there's two mounting points here. The first Alice used a cop plate. So it's stiff as shit anyway. So that's why everyone was like, okay, we can make it better. Because the Alice that was popular. I can it save them. I can save them. This was a sandwich mounted Alice. What I set out to do with this was to create what I didn't see it was a really flexible Alice, an Alice that actually used a half plate well. A lot of the Alice's that I saw, they didn't use half plates. They would either just have full on plates that were made out of polycarbonate or some other soft material. The fact is that you didn't really see a lot of half plates being used for Alice's. And I was like, hey, I can do that. That doesn't seem that hard. So I did. And then I made like 10 different wrong choices about the actual design of the boat, so it doesn't actually look that good. But I like how it types and I think you'll really like how this sounds too. After given of a bit of like breaking timing and like muscle memory, you can use this relatively easily if you've known how to touch type your life. You can use both your thumbs for space still. It's not like you lose a whole big part of it like this piece of fucking garbage. You see, you have a space here and a shift here, which you both have to use your thumb for it. But on the other side, it's backspace and enter. It's technically actually medically fluid needs help. But my brain does not compute. The point if to get into Alice at all. Maybe it's the easiest way to get into an ergonomic layout. There are actual 
keyboards that have something more akin to this where pe where there hasn't research done where yeah, it does so help your wrist. The tactile menu form, for example, or the Kinesis Advantage the keyboard, yeah. the one you see in like Men in Black. The idea is that when you type on this, your wrist doesn't move. You have everything in the palm, everything literally in the palm of your hand. There's no movement required and you can have the odd functionality required. This is true ergonomic. And while an Alice isn't, <laughs> that isn't to say that it it's completely worthless. Getting to use an Alice does help with your wrist. It, it's really clear that it does help with it. It is more comfortable at least. Come down to the store and try it. Or Given how like an Alice keyboard now doesn't cost like six hundred dollars or like five hundred, four hundred US, you can just get one of these relatively affordable ones now. Everyone's making one like Keychron, SP Star, Aqua ACR. Just buy one and try it. If you don't like it, give it to a friend. But come try it in store or buy one from us. SP Star Lucifer. To everyone out there who is on the fence, come to Mecca. Try out our Alice's. Get a feel for it. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe you'll join the cult. Sponsored by Sponsored by Matt.